Hello, and thank you for joining me today on my program. I want to uh, encourage you to stay with me as I speak on a message that I've entitled, I Remember. You know, David was so open in all of his emotions, just, I guess we would say raw. He would let you know how he felt at that moment. I love David because of the transparency and so we can so often relate our highs with David and our lows with David. And I would want us to go through some of those today. We're going to be using chapter 42 of the book of Psalms and see what David says. He says, As the deer pants for the water brooks, so my, pants my soul for you. Oh, God, my soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? As a deer pants for the water brooks, you see a deer when it's thirsty, it begins to just feel like it's got to get to the water. It's got to have it. It begins to smell it out, so to speak, and make its path to the water brooks. He said, my soul searches for the water of God. My soul searches for that water brook, the Spirit of God. And so just like David thirsted for the Spirit of God, so do we. And we need His presence in our life. He says, when shall I come and appear before God? Folks, I don't know how much longer I've got on this earth. I've got the breath that I have in me today. That's all I know for sure. I don't know about my tomorrows. I don't know when I'm going to appear before God. But David said, my soul longs to be in his presence. My soul longs to, to sit at his feet. Oh, when will I come before God? I don't know. But as long as I have here, I'm going to thirst after my God. David says in verse 3, My tears have been my food day and night. While they continually say to me, Where is your God? Oh, you know, as Christians, we say, Oh, I trust God. I believe God. But in the privacy of our night, do we have tears? Do we have tears that flow down the pillow in the privacy of our night? Even though our spoken word is, I trust God. And yet tears would come. David said, my tears have been my food day and night. While they, con they continually say to me, where is your God? He could be talking about the enemies, yes. But here he's referring to tears, I believe. You know, I think this is a self-reflection that David has given us. In fact, we're going to find that most of this chapter is self-reflection. Where is your God? Do your tears at night ask you, why hasn't God come through for you? Oh God, where are you? Oh God, why haven't you helped me? And tears would flow. You heard me say, I believe you. Why haven't you helped me? Tears, sometimes we need to look at them. Our tears can be saying what our voice didn't say. And if your tears are questioning God, and if your tears are doubting, take yourself as we will see David did and have a stern talk with yourself. Verse 4. When I remember these things, I pour out my soul within me. For I used to go with the multitudes. I went with them to the house of God with the voice of joy and praise with a multitude that kept a pilgrim's feast. David says, you know, I remember when I sit down and in the quietness, I remember I used to go to the church. I used to go to church and we would sing and get so excited and oh, we'd praise God. I remember the old days when we went to church. For whatever reason, it sounds like he can't right now. 
I thought of the shut-ins and I thought of the homebound. I thought of even the nursing homes and the rehabs and those who are homesick or maybe you're in jail. Maybe there is a place that you are confined and you can no longer do what you did. You can't run to the house of God, but you long to, but you can't. David said, I remember those days. I went with them, he says, with the multitude to church. Verse 5, why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Sometimes we have to stop and just say, wait a minute, what's going on here? Why, why do I feel like this? So David then says a directive to himself. Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. You know what I believe he's telling me? Hope in God for I shall yet praise him. David says, I'm not dead yet. I'm still breathing. And this is what I'm going to do. No matter what my current circumstance is, I'm going to keep my hope in God. I'm going to praise him while I've got breath within me. He says, for I shall yet praise him. God, we're going to hope in you no matter what it looks like all around of us. We're placing our hope directly in you. This is David's spoken voice. You see, David says, things aren't like I want them to be. They're not like they used to be, but I'm still here. I'm still breathing, and I'm going to place my hope in God. And then he says in verse 6, Oh, my God, my soul is cast down within me. You see, did you know it's okay to cry out to God and be real? Oh, we can be holy and we can say, Oh, my Father. And we can sound so righteous. But there's times you just need to tell him how, like you really feel. And David knew how to do that. Oh, just speak to God. Pour out your heart. Let him know he, that it, this isn't good right now, God. I don't like it. It's okay to tell him. And in verse 6, Oh, my God, my soul is cast down within me. But then I love this. He says, therefore. In other words, when I'm like this, here comes a therefore. It's a determined act. Therefore, I will remember you from the land of Jordan and from the heights of Mount Hermon and from the hill Mizar. Now then, I thought, Lord, what in the world is that verse about? I'm going to remember you from the land of Jordan, from the heights of Hermon and from the hill Mizar. And after a lot of prayer, the Lord began to show this to me. From the land of Jordan was his his memory of the past, his life, his land that he lived. From the Mount Hermon was the highest of the high of the mountains. You see, God began to show me spiritual highs in our life. We can all go back as Christians and remember we had these spiritual highs where God just lifted us up above the clouds and joy filled our spirit. But then we've also had those spiritual lows, the hill Mizar. It was the lowest hill. Whether it be your spiritual lows, your highs, or your everyday life, when you look back across them, you'll notice that one thing was always constant. God never left you. You were never alone in your highest of highs in your lowest of lows, and in your everyday life. God never once walked away. He never once left you. That's what David began to remember. Verse, uh, let's go on to verse 8. The Lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime, and in the night his song shall be with me, a prayer to the God of my life. You see, David said, you know what, when I really look back, I know God is there and he commands his loving kindness to me. 
and in the night his song is over me. Verse 9, I will say to the rock, to God my rock, why have you forgotten me? Have you ever asked God that? Uh, Hello, Lord, I'm right here. Have you forgotten me? Look at the mess I'm in. I need you to pull me out of this. And that was kind of David's prayer. Why do I go mourning because of the oppression of the enemy as with the breaking of my bones? My enemies reproach me while they say to me all day long, where is your God? You know, I thought, well, what are the enemies? Oh, yes, enemies could be a person. It could be uh, something that uh, a whole group. But so often, I believe that we're referring to spiritual, the spiritual enemies that would come against us, that would just hound us and say, oh, really, where's your God now? You know, I, as a children, we used to say, nah, 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 nah. Where is your God now? Maybe you're in a time of illness. Oh, really? I thought you said God was a healer. Well, where's your God now? Maybe you're in a financial stress. I thought you said God was a supplier. Where is your God now? They will approach you, these enemies of doubt. They will approach. David said, I will speak his word over my life. There's the answer. I will speak his word over my life. And I'm going to look back and I'm going to remember, remember, always in my spiritual highs and in my lowest of lows and in my everyday life, God never left me alone. Why are you cast down, verse 11, O oh, my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him. My breath, as long as I have breath, I will praise my God. Psalms 55, 22, cast all your burden on the Lord, David says, and he shall sustain you, and he shall never permit the righteous to be moved. You see, today has been about a time of asking you to pull away, be honest with God, whether you can tell anyone else or not. And if you feel alone, look back on history of your own life. Has he ever once left you? No. And he's not about to start today. Cast your burdens on him and he'll see you through. Thank you for joining me today. We hope you've enjoyed Fresh Manna for today with Evangelist D. Levins. For more from D, read The Long, Long Night, The Story of Destiny, and Echoes from God, a Christian study book for growing deep and strong in the faith. Connect with D and purchase her books at dlevins.com.